Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Madden gameplay. In this gameplay, we are going to be playing no, none other than Noah up next. And I guess you could call this a uh, rematch, a revenge game. Honestly, this isn't nowhere near the extent that we played in clubs, but I do believe this is like the first time we played since that club's victory that I had. And, you know, this gameplay will be on regs. Um, I'm going to start posting some more regs gameplay because uh, the simple fact is I'm pretty good at regs, man. And, uh, they have these weekly tournaments on Players Lounge. Uh, they have two a week, honestly. And, you know, I'm going to just enter as many of those as I can. Just watch this gameplay. There's another one coming after that. That will be a game versus KMAC. But this is a regs gameplay. Four minute quarters. Packers on Packers versus Noah up next. And he is a regs goon. He's a Madden goon. He's good at any mode, man. He's going to adapt. Remember when uh, he was first on the scene, a lot of people was like, oh, you're only a toter. That's all you could do. He's adapted really, really well to this year's gameplay. And he passes quite a bit, as you will see in this gameplay. But without all the talking, let's get into the gameplay itself, man. Me versus Noah. Uh, honestly, first game, I think I played him after the club's game. And it's a really good one. All right, guys. If you know Noah, he is a part of TGL, Team Get Lucky. And uh, hopefully he doesn't get lucky against us. Obviously, this is a post-com. You see right here, boys, he's going to run a match. I have Aaron Jones first play, but, you know, it's the first play of the game. Sometimes your reads could be a little shaky. We are going to get sacked, but only for one yard, so it's not too shabby. And the reason I knew he was in match is if you want to rewind that, the left linebacker kind of moved out all the way. And, um, you know, that just tells that it's match. But here we go, man. I am in the Jets playbook in the 4-6 defense. This is man-to-man -man coverage right here, the way his safeties creep down. Honestly, just not a great play to call. And obviously, Noah's user is really good. We're not even going to look that way. See right there, Mike Blitz 0. And that's another thing about regs, boys. If you play a lot of regs, you will have that previous play on. Unlike Mutt, All Mad and Mutt at least, you're not going to have previous play on. And right here, we're going to do a nice little table route to Aaron Jones. He doesn't get the first, but he does juke. And we're going to go no huddle. And I like that play. This play right here is a great setup for regs. For, it's decent in Mutt, but you know... This is really good in regs. You see right here, we are going to dump it off to Aaron Jones again. Get that little truck animation. Flick that right stick up, and we are going to go all the way down to the 40-yard line. See right here, we are going to run Z-Spot right here, man. And one thing I always mess up, I don't know if you guys can relate, at least when I use the Packers, it's right here. We're going to Playmaker up, and look at this dot that we throw, man. Aaron Rodgers to Aaron Jones, roaming dead out. You're going to want to let go of the right trigger when you throw those passes on the run. We get that all the way down to the 13-yard line. Just a beautiful dot. But like I was saying, one thing I always forget is to, you know, sub in or move around Bakhtari. I feel like the Packers versus Packers is super even, man. Uh, you have one edge threat elite in Zadaria Smith, and then you have one edge protector in David Bakhtari. There's so much chess games going on. You can move your edge protector or move Zadaria Smith back and forth, back and forth. And, you know, there's a lot of chess games that come out of there. But here we're going to do is what we're going to do here is audible down to another set with AJ Dillon and I really didn't even know AJ Dillon was here but hey he gets the job done I don't know what his speed is but he could air truck and that boy is a problem uh, shout out to AJ Dillon and Aaron Jones crazy running backs guys I don't know I already told you but I don't know if you could tell it's already like one minute left in this game in the first quarter um, these four minute quarters in all Madden regs go by like that and uh, honestly all it comes down to in this game mode is clocking you're not going to play that great of defense, man. You could have a good user. You could send some blitzes here and there. But, you know, um, I find it very, very hard to play defense in this mode. You're going to see a lot of send two. And honestly, it's just like you can't do too much, especially versus like trips or bunch. You can slow them down, but there's no stopping them. As you see right here, Noah is in the trip set. And, you know, that might shock you guys. Usually, like I said, he's toed in, but in regs, he's the daughter. Comment below what offense you guys run on regs, if you even play regs. Um, like I said, there's so many good games, and this game is really good as well, but the next one I'm going to post is going to be even better. See right here, runs curl flat twice in a row. What makes curl flat so good is the ability to call hike like that. You can really call the play stock and find really good results, whether it be that crosser, um, the angle route, or just that curl route to the left side. There's so many options that you could throw. Just right, see right here, we are in the 4-6 defense, and we're going to run a little bit of quarters defense right here. Uh, sending two. It is kind of meta in regs. I don't want to send Zadarius Smith on his own. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. He just so happened to be in that place. And there we go. We get a nice send two animation. And here we go. Fourth down in what? Fourth and two. This is how we can win the game just like that. And see right here. I'm audibly in the 3-3-5 wide. 
and I'm going to be in quarters defense again. Um, cover four quarters right here. Everyone is going to be kind of zoned up, and I send two again. Basically trying to have a great user as we do, and there comes the cover four quarters. Kevin King, he has so little zone, but he actually makes a crazy play for us boys, and I was super ecstatic, super excited for that play. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it was a bad pass lead on his part or it's just Kevin King in great defense. But, you know, I, I stayed on that route long enough for Kevin King to react. See right here, we're going to just run the ball a little bit. Take this probably to the uh, end of the first quarter. And honestly, just test his run. On, and I would even peep on the right side. He's kind of just, uh, I don't even know what that was. His alignment was super messed up. But it really doesn't matter. We are going to take this to the second quarter. See right here, boys. We're going to audible around. And this is what I love to do in regs. And here we go. Devontae Adams on this nice, sharp running corner route. And, you know, he's the best receiver in the game for sure. It looks like he got tired. I need Devontae Adams to get up, man. I definitely need him to carry me. Uh, route tech, red zone threat, and outside apprentice. If he had slotomatic, I mean, that dude would be insane. Outside apprentice does hold its value, though. I like to move him around and make some posts, some corner routes. A lot of things you could do without outside apprentice. See right here, boys. We're going to run that trap. And I don't know where Rashawn Gary kind of just tackles us, but I do like that look. And if anything, that helps me out to take away some time. Uh, he does get ball at half, but, you know, if I could go up to half with at least, you know, a seven-point lead, that'd be beautiful. See right here, we are going to run the ball once more. Once more Owen trap. Uh, look for Valdez Scantling. He was somewhat open, boys. I probably should have thrown it to him, but it's all good. Like I said, I'm fine with that clock dripping down another 40 seconds. Another thing about all Madden regs, 40-second play clock compared to a 30-second play clock. And, but, and right once more, same play again. As you can't tell, my Jets red zone offense is very lacking. And we are almost able to get out of there, but we are not able to. Amos hawks us down. And at least for us, we didn't go out of bounds. So there goes the two-minute warning, boys. But, man, oh, man, I got to work on some red zone. Oh, I know it's a little too late in the year to be saying that, but, you know, uh, the more and more I play these regs tournaments, I got to implement that red zone threat with Devontae Adams 100%. Here we go. Trips in the middle of the field for Noah. 157, three timeouts, so plenty of time. Unfortunately, I'm only up 10, and here we go. Getting agged right on cue when I told you Devontae Adams is the best. Um, it just, like, that's Jair Alexander getting agged. That's my best player on defense. I believe he's a 94 overall. He did animate right there, and I do have, like, deep out KO, deep zone KO. So, I mean, I really don't know how he caught that, but it is what it is. We're going to try to mix in a blitz threat because I don't like how much time he has. And he does the right call and does run the ball. But we actually have a pretty good user end up slowing down the run. And, you know, four yards, I'll take that any day of the week. As long as we don't get quick hacked right here, we will be good. See right here, I'm going to set up another, you know, cover four look. Um, and this is not match, boys. I have zone drops on. That's why it's really, like, good. And I messed up, man. I should have kept running with that crosser but you know i honestly thought my quarter zone was gonna guard it to make that guard that you need a baseline press boys and that's that was not a baseline press look um but i know that for the future but you know great three play drive i mean that kind of hurts but you know honestly we could get three ourselves or we could even get seven potentially let's see what we could do with this amount of time in regs anything is possible see right here boys gonna run a little bit of mesh and we try to go deep, but we don't see that deep half. I want to say we could have maybe had a catch, but when, that was actually great adjustments. He brought his safety all the way in the box on the left and put him in a deep half. Definitely a terrible read on my part, um, but like I said, one-on-one, -on -one, Devontae Adams on a complete buster. I would have thrown it again, um, even if he did have the speed advantage. It did look like he cooked them, boys. You can't tell me otherwise, but we're going to mix it up, man. Going to run a little bit of PA boot over. Really just looking for Aaron Jones. I do playmaker that up, but really he, nothing happens. And, you know, not a, not the ideal situation to come out here on two plays and have two terrible plays. See right here, boys. We are going to be running flood. And Noah's user is one not to be tested, but we test it. And we... Ooh, that was a close call, to say the least. Right here, man. Going back to the basics. Jets dig with a slant. Route tech in the slot. Uh, and he runs match right here. We fall down. Um, you know, it's pretty crazy. We fall down with our tight end. Not only that, he gets some crazy sheds, boys. I feel like if he didn't get that crazy shed, we had R1 breaking open. He would have had to choose between the slant and the dig. And, you know, 
um, it's all good. Just live for another play. We're definitely just looking for three at this point in time. There's no way we get seven unless there's a complete miscommunication in the defense. And right here, we're just going to pass lead this. Uh, uh, excuse me. I can't talk. We're going to pass lead that little flat route up for nine yards. And that's something you really can't do in mutt. That would 100% get picked off by Acrobat or by that 99 zone players, 99 speed players. But here we go, man, running this flood play out of this uh, gun bunch open offset. And boom, we have a couple things open. Could I throw something? Finally throw something. I know Noah's probably mad about that because I had a lot of time. He did blitz, I think, five, and I had so much time right there. But we will take it. We have a couple of shots at the end zone, red zone threat. Let's see if we could abuse it real quick. And right here, boys, honestly, in the stream, if you were in the stream, you knew you know, uh, I was like saying, oh, I don't know what to call here. Let's just try to throw it up to Devontae. And honestly, that's the truth. I really didn't have anything right here. So we're just decided to throw it away. And we have one play. I know five seconds doesn't seem like a lot of time, but we do actually have one play to call. And I do, I, I, I cook one up finally. I decide, okay, let me move Devontae Adams sneakily to that outside position. Let me put him on a post. He does have route tech. He does have red zone threat. And look at this play, boys. Tell me this is a dot or not. I mean, this is as close as it gets. See right here, we are in bunch trail. Really just, the other routes don't matter. I'm really eyeing down Devontae, seeing if his user is there or not. His user is not there. We highball it. Perry Nickerson on Devontae. I feel like I gotta ag that every single time. Um, but I'm not mad. It could have been completely way worse. I have one second left. Thank God I at least managed to get a field goal. It's a very high risk play for a high reward. But, you know, obviously we don't get that play. But maybe if I possession catch it, I could have it. What? Let me know what you guys think. I was just scared of Noah's user, man. And I know you guys can relate. If you've played him or ever seen him play, that user go crazy. And right here, boys, we are in the cover four quarters once more. Found most success running this defense. And right here, man, uh, just a lot of time. But that's expected when you send two. And, you know, I'm not really mad about that. Gets up to the 43-yard line. Right here. Finally send a blitz trying to get some sheds and he makes a nice little read of the angle round That's that curl flat play for you boys uh, the longer you longer time you have in the pocket that crosser that uh, Post whatever you want to call it is 100% gonna be open in regs But the thing is you send a blitz that angle route is gonna block and then go out It's just too much to worry about so like that's why a lot of people especially versus trips like to send to play all-out max coverages right here he goes a bunch side end two couple drags and uh, I mess up my defense and, you know, he just makes a nice little move with his tight end. And he's cooking now. Seven of nine. It, it was just one stop, man. It's right here. We are once more sending two. Vert hook off that left side. Drag. Corner route. And he chucks his corner out. I felt like that should have been a pick, boys. Um, definitely just a risky play for no reason. That's my best defender out there as well. It's all good. No harm, no foul. Here we go, boys. Once more in that cover four drop and max coverage once again and we honestly will take that read any day of the week gets two yards right there had a hard flat and you know i was pretty happy when he threw that honestly because uh you know if i could get this ball back with a lead i know i'm gonna win this game um or at least put myself in the best position to win this game because you know if they start scoring and all that it comes down to clock management if i had the ball in the lead all i need to worry about go get seven or go get three and play some defense it's right here he's gonna dump it off and amos with a huge hit saves the day almost but it is a fourth and one so you gotta lock up for one more possession and i'm scrambling with my adjustments i'm moving my guys left right uh, i don't even know what i want to do i'm baseline pressing look at what i'm doing and i run the same adjustments once more and i didn't get to blitz my user unfortunately but it's, it doesn't really matter because he has the freest run ever hindsight maybe should have called the timeout but like i said four minute quarters those timeouts are crucial so, you know, we'll live with the, with the result. We'll try to bag up in the red zone, man. Um, that's probably my best chance of a stop right here in the red zone. Right here, we do send the blitz. And he has a wide open dot. I don't know if it was under pressure or just high balls being broken. But he completely misses Adams. And I'm definitely just, I definitely just played really wild defense. And he just actually dialed up the perfect play. Um, you know, that was just bad defense in hindsight. But, you know, here we go. Back to the max coverage look. And honestly, I'm kind of mad watching this because I ran the same adjustment so many times. I know it's not a bad thing, boys. Especially, like, when like, your quarters and all that are playing really well. Is right here. This is a bag. But, you know, in hindsight, man, I really do want to mix it up. Maybe mi uh, mix in some man coverage assignments. Definitely got to blitz more. 
um and that's just in general just for madden to madden that's not even like thinking about this game that's just in general just definitely want to be crazy with my adjustments mix them up each and every play and just definitely just read what my opponent is doing that's really what madden and defense is about rather than spamming the same thing i mean you will get results man but like i said the best way is just to you know probably cycle through three to four different coverages and then from there adjust um on the fly as here we go a big third down at 12 and here we go with the send two man that's what i hate about regs but you have to play this way man honestly it's the truth he does get a delay a game right here so it's gonna just pretty much guarantee that he has to kick three but it is regs anything could happen if i'm Noah right here boys i'm just calling hike on any play and just throwing a seam streak um i definitely have to guard the seams really really well with you know how kevin king is up top as right here he is really gonna just throw this delay fade and you know it makes it makes him go for it so um this might be the call honestly with four minute quarters and here we're gonna call a timeout because this is definitely the biggest play of the game but you know that short little play was able to make him go for it and make it a fourth and manageable as you see right here man let's see if we make some adjustments and it's the same type of coverage this time we do send three though boys we have a vert hook on that left side um and you know he kept audible into this tight formation it kind of kept me throwing off kept throwing me off guard but here we go we play cover two on the left side vert hook in the left side as well and this is a complete and utter bag boys we are all over it and he almost has a hell bounce back aaron Rodgers sells him right there i don't know if it would have been caught to be fair guys but nonetheless we will take it great defense and from here man i gotta just run the ball a couple times get a couple first maybe even score and this game would be wrapped you see we're gonna start off with a run man just to get into the fourth quarter we're gonna run this uh buck and that's fine man completely fine with me and he actually ends up calling a timeout so i mean it's not a bad timeout whatsoever see right here boys you got Devonte adams on this post remember how i had him there earlier well guess what we kept him there he runs cover two and easy peasy lemon squeezy kevin king and josh jackson up top they don't know what's going on they can't defend for jack and there we go Devonte adams best receiver in the game to the bah, bah. and boys we're gonna have to go for two right here um i had this convo with my people in my chat they were saying you know go for two right here i said obviously but the convo was <laughs> um do i go down right there or do i score and i decided to go and score um i trust myself on defense like i said maybe if you're playing like spamming buttons or something honestly noah plays so up tempo those maybe stopping sitting down there was a move but nonetheless i'll take the chances up 14 uh, four minutes left he does only have two timeouts three if you cut the two minute warning and you know he's going to be starting off in the middle of the field as well something that's underrated and here we go boys notice how fast noah's gonna call hike as soon as he gets to the line he calls hike and there goes curl flat we have a decent user but i mean still 10 yards on an angle route is pretty wild and here we go again i no huddle too he goes no huddle and i can't really adjust as fast as i want to do he is on host not saying that matters too much but i have a terrible i'm talking about terrible user right there boys the crosser was completely back and all i had to do was guard that angle route at least the only good thing about that is it's the middle of the field it's right here almost 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 get a jair acrobat and noel does love that seam streak boys up the middle of this tight end that seam streak is pretty op too with a rod uh tanyan man, imagine if he was like 87 to 90 speed man that, it'd actually be insane how good the packers offense would be as you see right here boys i'll start to mix up a little bit of adjustments i man up the running back still sending two man i hate playing like this but man oh man you have to right here great little hitch and even that vert hook even though i had a vert hook it doesn't matter it's Rashawn gary he's not really guarding anything see right here boys we send the blitz man up a couple people and that was a great blitz right there um we sent the corner off that right side manned up the tight end pretty much only had to worry about Devonte adams because the angle route just took way too long he made the appropriate read man he read it really well the uh the curl was open but here we go sending a blitz again and once more good dot he was ready for it and honestly that's how you have to play regs you got to sneakily blitz if you continue to blitz over and over and over again they will be ready but when you pick and choose your you know chances to blitz that's when you'll have something it's right here he's gonna throw it to aaron jones a terrible throw 
A Rod sucks, throwing on the run, and GG's in the chat. Boys, in the next video, I will be playing K Mac. The same tournament, we actually do end up making the finals. So the game versus K Mac will be for a thousand dollars. Winner of that will be getting 750. And you know, it was a players launch finals that took place on Monday, I want to say. So dang, it's been a minute, it's been a week, but stay tuned for that. If you know what happens, you know. But man, oh man, that's a crazy game with some crazy content, some crazy clips. I get hyped as hell in that game. Definitely don't want to miss it, boys. I'll catch you next time. Sub, like, share, all that good stuff. Till next time, boys.